Out of the way, please. I know first aid. It's too late for that. Give me some space. Recently, by the look of it. Still fresh. Still warm. I thought as much. It's horrible. Can't somebody cover it up? Hey, don't do that. The forensic investigators would want to preserve the evidence, you know. They have science, you know. They won't let a little thing like a jacket get in their way. And that's my human hand. Grim business, grim business. Well, I need some breakfast. Right, well, don't leave the scene of the crime, please. Well, I'm meeting a friend for some tea and toast. Excuse me, madam, but I am an officer of the law, and you may consider this house in lockdown until clues have been gathered and the culprit apprehended. In fact, I'd rather you didn't leave the scene of the crime at all. That was a very loud door. But it's breakfast time, and you're right. That was a very loud door. I wonder if... Loud. Loud. Practically a design feature. Well, loud doors, what does that mean? I think I get it. The corpse was fresh as a daisy when we first found it. You know what that means? If the killer had left the staircase since yes. then, we would have heard them. Ladies and... Tristan Hall, internet salesman. Ladies and Tristan. That means the murderer has not left the staircase. One of us is the killer. Well, there's no question who done it. Surely you will know Madeline Pam. Very same, Eris, socialite, noted serial killer. But this ain't my handiwork. The very idea of being insulted. Sandra, Miss Pump's campaign of slaughterings and disembowelings last summer gained notoriety as the contrabass murders. A self-proclaimed felon and mutilator, there is no denying. But this crime has none of her hallmarks. There's no calling card, no blood, no disgorged liver. And the brain is entirely intact. This isn't my style at all. You have your murderess. I'm off to get my breakfast skippers. No, I may be an officer of the law, but I'm not entirely incompetent. Madeline is so obviously a suspect that I think one of you is trying to be clever. Hmm. You recognise her as a celebrity murderer and assassin, and you think that you can get away with a murder, leaving her as the scapegoat. One of you... No blood on my copybook. And I was with Miss Pump. Um, you two could have been planning together, all clever-like. That's a thought, or I was trying to sweep out the blame. I'll have you know, I'm a practicing Rotarian. I'm no murderess. I, I prefer the gender-neutral term, murderer. The murderer? Yeah. You? I'm sorry, do I know you? Where's the murderer? Murder? Oh dear. What's up, chaps? Somebody has slain young Mr. Belfonte for reason or reasons unknown. But anyway, before you blurt your accusations, please be aware that I'm exonerated for all the blame in this matter. Not Jarvis. He was my brother. We weren't close, but... Ooh, the plot thickens. I'm sorry, miss. Belfonte. Now, could I be permitted to see the body? It's a bit morbid. Come on, Jesse. We've all seen it, so it only seems fair. By you! What? It takes a jewel thief to know one. A lover of these shiny pretties. The glint of gold. The, sh the sparkle of diamonds. Even pewter's allure. In that pocket, I think. I want... Haha! <laughs> Busted. You better come clean, Inspector. Leaving. Murder. All right. I stole it. I saw my chance. Everybody knows the Belfonte jewels, but... I'm no murderer. I wouldn't kill for, for this. Beauty brings out dangerous urges. Maybe you did it. Maybe you had to have it. Maybe you had to see it sparkle. You feel like compulsion, never for money. We're a dying breed. I saw it for money. I'm not a killer. 
I took my chance with the jewels, but not this. Never this. I know where you could get a good price for it. Before we get to that, shouldn't we work out who the murderer is, if not the inspector? Well, they'll be long gone by now, I expect. No, no, all the doors are too noisy. They couldn't possibly leave the staircase without us knowing, right? That's not quite true. The doors are pretty noisy, but there is one place that you haven't checked the murderer. In that hidden door. The murderer's in there? Let's hope so. Excuse me. Excuse me. Why did you do it? Why did you do it? No.